Since the Supreme Court's 2010 decision in the case known as Citizens United, corporate spending on campaigns has reached record levels. But the ruling also ignited a movement against expanding constitutional rights to corporations. A number of cities, including most recently Boulder, Colorado, have passed measures denying corporations these rights. It's part of a national movement promoted by Move to Amend, a coalition of organizations aiming to amend the U.S. Constitution to place limits on corporate personhood. WORT's Patrick Waring spoke to one of the group's founders, former Green Party presidential candidate David Cobb. Now, why do you oppose corporate personhood? Well, corporate personhood is the legal doctrine that allows corporate lawyers to go into court and overturn democratically enacted laws that attempt to control their conduct. For example, the most recently Citizens United versus Federal Election Commission, the U.S. Supreme Court, in in an act of supreme judicial activism, overturned a very weak and anemic campaign finance system known as the McCain-Feingold laws. And the court said it violated the corporation's constitutional rights as people Uh, and overturn that law. Corporate personhood is one of the linchpin legal doctrines for how the ruling elite have hijacked our legal system and have not only allowed but literally encouraged a small predatory class to use the institution of the corporation to oppress and exploit us. You said earlier that uh, you believe that corporate personhood is also illegal. What legal basis are you basing that off of? The doctrine of corporate personhood or corporations claiming constitutional rights is an illegitimate legal doctrine because it was literally made up out of whole cloth by Supreme Court judges. It's not a function of the statutes. It's not a function of our elected representatives describing how corporations should be treated under law. That's illegitimate because only human beings have inherent inalienable constitutional rights. The right wing and Conservatives are fond of saying that it's only the court's job to interpret laws, not to make laws, and yet they made an entire body of law around corporate personhood, and they made it up. Flawed interpretation of the 14th Amendment, so not only is it illogical, it's also shameful considering that that is an interpretation of the amendment that was meant to secure the rights of recently liberated persons who had been enslaved. How are you going to go about that, go- that kind of lofty goal of amending the U.S. Constitution? We know that from the 13th Amendment, the 14th Amendment, the 15th Amendment, the, the 19th Amendment guaranteeing women uh, the right to vote, uh, that all of these amendments require broad and deep social movements and electoral politics, that is to say, people running for office on the agenda or platform of those social movements. We are proud at the Move to Amend Coalition that we are part of the social movements. We were participatory and uh, put a lot of uh, our sweat equity into the U.S. social forums in Atlanta and Detroit. The Move to Amend Coalition was a convening organization of the Democracy Convention in Madison, Wisconsin this year. The point I'm making is we are deeply rooted in communities because we know what those folks in Latin America know, what those folks in North Africa and those folks in the Middle East know, and that is that a democracy movement is not going to come out of the state capital or the nonprofit industrial complex. It's only going to come if enough ordinary people get involved and start grappling with the political, economic, and legal systems all at the same time, and that's what we're doing. How would you handle the chartering of corporations, or would they all be entirely just eliminated? We actually believe that there is a proper role for corporations in our society. Uh, it, it, cor- the idea of the corporation is very good for figuring out how to do large-scale public projects um, and uh, amassing capital and uh, human labor and efforts into a particular task. What we don't believe is that corporations can ever engage in the political process. And I don't just mean they shouldn't be able to give money in elections. That's just the start of it. They should not be allowed to engage in lobbying. Uh, They shouldn't be allowed to be involved in the body politic at all. Only human beings should be doing that. Now, uh, the way that corporations should be handled is by a chartering process that requires that every corporation must always serve the public interest. And if they ever are found to be violating the public interest, they should be dechartered. Their corporate charters should be revoked. Why are you 
advocating for this change in the Constitution rather than advocating for more uh, strict enforcement of existing law. Well, I want to be clear. It's not either or. It's both and. Mm -hmm. The idea of the charter is a statutory remedy. In other words, it's how you can use existing laws that have been written at the state level. We support that. I've been involved in doing that. However, the idea of corporate constitutional rights is when the court comes in and overturns statutory laws uh, on the basis that the statutory laws are violating the inherent constitutional rights of some person, which is why corporate per they have to say that a corporation is a person if you have great laws that attempt to control corporate conduct, but the court can come in and overturn those laws, then it's not enough. That was Move to Amend co-founder and former Green Party presidential candidate David Cobb speaking to WORT's Patrick Waring. You're listening to FSRN.